So, uh, what are you wearing? <laughs> wow, I bet you could see right through that. Chris, who are you talking to? Grandma. Come on over here, son. Hand me the paper so I don't need to use my grabber. Mmm. That's a nice muscly throwing on you got there. Uh, thanks. Got a nice tip for you right here in my pocket for my arthritis. Why don't you reach in there and fish it out for yourself? Oh, that's okay, mister. I don't collect till the end of the month. I'll see you tomorrow. Weird. Y you might want to give that a minute or two. I know what you're doing in there. And there's a sin. If you ever do it again, you'll burn in hell. But I do it every day. Sometimes twice. Mark my words, lad. You may think you're alone in there, but God's watching. Don't do it again. God's watching me do number two? Oh, man, I'm a sinner, and God's a pervert. Hey, you know, I should teach Chris about his Irish roots. Besides, we haven't spent any time together since we played Operation. I'm going for the funny bone, Dad. Oh, you touched the sides. Oh, jeez, he's waking up. Quick, let's get him back to the bus station. My, my, what a thumping good read. Lions eating Christians, people nailing each other to two by fours. I say you won't find that in Winnie the Pooh. Please don't say poo. If we're going to be together, I need you to kill my husband. Ah! Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Oh, this is one fine day to be nude. Yeah, this is one fine day to be nude. The birds are saying, Clinton, have a wonderful spring. And people walking by can stop and look at my thing. Oh, this is one fine day to... Liberal Jobby Chaser! Oh, <laughs> well, if you can't laugh at yourself. Don't come in. Just a minute. Chris, your mother wants me and you to have a talk. No! Oh, I was going for a new record. You remember that time you called me Chris Gristle? I think so. Well, burn for it! <laughs> it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a lower middle class Irish family. That's right, Tom. This is just one of many public disturbances caused by the Griffin family of Quahog, who seem to have acquired superpowers. Very strange story, Diane. Coming up next, can bees think? A new study confirms that no, they cannot. Oh, honey, no one thinks you're fat. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You can't park your van on the diving board. This is my son. Oh, my apologies. Hey, Tom, he's not a van. He's just a fat kid. Don't listen to him, Chris. I'm gonna go get you a soda. You wait here. Hey, Dad. Thanks. You remember what happened when he tried to sneak me into the county fair? Uh, one, please. <laughs> Wait a second, your ass just sneezed. And horses can't talk. No, 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 nothing about this adds up at all. What do you think you're doing, lad? Nothing! Yeah, I don't think I'll ever beat you. Hey, Chris, what's with your leg? Oh my god, that's not your leg! I graded your quizzes from yesterday. Most of you did well. Some of you, I think, can do better. What do you see here, Chris? Two Ds and an F. Hi, I'm going door to door to campaign on behalf of Lois Griffin, who's offering real change for the city of Quahog. May we count on your vote next Tuesday? Chris, this is our house. Ah. Then what is for dinner? Pork chops. Excellent. Chris, have you been to any other houses? I have not. Would you like to come in? Please. I came because I love the theater. I mean, if I just came here to enjoy watching your father be humiliated when this asinine spectacle of his is ridiculed by everyone in town, what kind of person would I be? A bitch. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> I don't know, Peter. Lips are one thing, but did you have to buy breast implants for Chris? Yeah, it makes him happy. Hey, these are cool. Okay, Meg. I'm thinking of another word. This time, it's definitely not kitty. Can you guess what it is? Is it kitty? Get out of my head! Get out of my head! 
We have to work together so that our steps... <laughs> Come on, we gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to Shaka practice. We're gonna be late. Why won't you talk to me? Well, maybe if I'd seen you kiss your girlfriend. Fine. What was that? What, is she your grandmother? <laughs> That's no kiss. Watch this. Mm. 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 Peter, you can't just suck 200 pounds of fat out of yourself. It, it's not natural. Come on, Lois. I feel great dropping that kind of weight all at once. You remember how good you felt after you had Chris? When I stick this army guy with the sharp bayonet up my nose, it tickles my brain. <laughs> Ow! Oh, now I don't know math. <laughs> Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! Yeah! <laughs> my son Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon very shortly. Almost. Ow! They should really use monkeys for this. Oh, man, I haven't been this upset since I watched The Blob on television. Look out behind you, lady, it's The Blob! I'll save you! Hey, a Twinkie! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <gasps> oh, my God, my fish is gone! And he robbed me! Come on, you can do it. Feel the burn, Chris. Feel the burn. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. All right, we'll drop the dumbest student we have. Chris Griffin is hereby expelled. But if I leave now, I won't hear who's the dumbest kid in the school. Boobies! Did you hear me, young man? I don't know what the big deal was. I thought they were nice. Boobies! Peter. Do it. Did you have fun at the circus today, Chris? Elephants are bigger in person.